my friend. Would you like to tie some knots with me today? I think today will be a good day for practicing a few useful knots together. So you can have some book sounds and some rope sounds as well. And some whispering that will hopefully be nice and relaxing for you to drift off. This book is quite handy. also a little bit of information about each knot and the fact that it's in color and when they work with more than one rope they use two different colors. They also tape the end so you know which end is the working end. another one from the Colombian Rope Company. In Auburn, New York, the Cordage City. And this one doesn't seem to have a date, but I expect it's from the 40s or 50s. And it looks like it's spent time on a boat with the watermarks. And here are the different weights and strength and different types of rope and cordage. And there's a fisherman with his bird friend. should be stored. 
this nylon and as you can see some, some of them are worn and frayed which is why they're being used as practice rope you always want to keep your rope in good condition and not recycle it from one purpose to another when it becomes stretched or frayed This won't hold any weight. This one is a nylon rope. It's blue with some red in it. The nylon doesn't stretch very much. This one is also nylon with a cotton woven inside. So nylon weave over top of cotton. This one, which has been sealed at the end by melting the nylon. And this one is just a straight nylon weave. So we'll be using some of those. The first one I would like to show you is a stopper knot. And it's a figure eight. are also known as knob knots and are generally tied as a terminal knot in the end of a rope. Stopper knots are used to stop the end of a length of rope, string, or small stuff slipping through an eye or a hole or a reef. These types of knot can range from the simple to the elaborate they include knots that everyone has made to secure the ends of sewing thread and the decorative knob knots used to weight the ends of cords used for curtain tiebacks. As you can see, this one is lots of fun. You can also hit people with the end of it. Mainly save that for your crew if they're not behaving themselves. It's what they would have tied up on the end of the cat of nine tails in the Royal Navy that they used to flog people with. This is the one that's most common especially in dinghy sailing for your sheet, but also in yachting. This is the figure of eight knot. And you can see this rope has been stored correctly. Well, we've got a little bit of fluff on it, but it's been coiled and wrapped so that it can be stored. We're going to take it apart and tie a figure eight in the end. So a figure of eight knot looks like an eight or an ampersand. So all you do is make one twist. The other twist goes under and over. And you've got it your figure of eight, stop or not. So if this is in a cleat or pulley, it's not going to come through. Very nice figure of eight there. The next one I'm going to show you is called a bowline. used for a 
variety of jobs because it will not slip, loosen, or jam. It is a very useful knot. You can use it to fasten your spinnaker in a dinghy or even your spinnaker to its rings in a yacht. You can use it on the mooring lines. You can use it just about anywhere you need a good solid knot. So what we're going to do is take the working end and the, the long end is back here. So you take a good length of the working end and we're going to make a loop. side or the other, and how you work with it, and what you want your bowline to look like at the end, which side you want the end to lay, as to which side you're going to put your loop. So the working end will come up like a rabbit out of its hole. It'll go around the end that forms the loop, just like that, and back down into the hole. yourself instead of away. So whatever you want to tie it to, around something, or through the spinnaker, you put the loop through there, come around, and back in. And you've got a nice solid bow in there. You can use this end to throw onto the pontoon or tie up later. So that's a good, good solid knot. Fairly easy to undo and it doesn't jam. Now for hitches. There are a couple of hitches that are very useful. They're used to fasten the rope to another object. So here we have two half hitches and the round turn and two half hitches. This is a useful knot for attaching a washing line, mooring a boat, and even towing a broken down car. It can take a great deal of strain, but can be easily untied. Sometimes you can use this knot to tie your fenders on the side or to the stern when underway. So I'm going to take this piece of bamboo and show you. I'm going to go under and around, under and around. So we've got a loop at the end of this very noisy piece of bamboo. And then we're just going to tie a loop around, just like that. And to do it again, which we don't have enough length of rope, so I'm going to make a longer piece here. Just where it is. 
edges and you can easily untie these two half hitches to adjust the height of the fender.
also use this to raise your ensign at the stern. So what we'll do is use this small rope and our pretty red rope here. So we'll take our larger rope. your sheet bend there. So we can say that both ropes will have some tension on them and it's not going to come out very easily. It's a nice quick way to connect two ropes.
and also when sailors would spend months and months, sometimes years at sea, there's a lot of time that they had to fill with busy work and tying fancy knots was all part of that. I hope you've enjoyed tying some useful knots with me. We've done some of the most useful ones that you will use when you're sailing. Or perhaps when you have to tow a car or walk a dog. And we've looked at some of these books as well. And seen the different uses. So